Hey, what's up everyone? So I was originally planning to ride Keystone today, but it was absolutely packed out there. Decided to call an audible, come out here for a split board mission in the afternoon out here and got a great day for it. Bluebird sky, it's nice and warm, uh, but it hasn't snowed in quite a while. So I'm thinking conditions are gonna be pretty variable, pretty skied out, uh, but hoping we can find some fun zones up here, maybe find some good turns in the trees or something like that. And I uh, figured I'd take this opportunity to share this zone with you guys and also give you some feedback on the Union Expedition bindings that I've been running for the last couple seasons. So about to head up right now and uh, we'll see how things are out there. Let's check it out. All right, I'd say we're about halfway to two thirds of the way up to the ridge line we're trying to get to. Make it some good progress. We're about a mile and a half in, covered about 800 feet of vertical so far. And I wanted to take a second to quickly talk about the specific bindings I'm running. So the bindings I'm on are the 2020, 2021 version of the Union Expedition. They've made some significant upgrades. They fixed the three biggest problems from the original generation of these bindings. So we'll take a look at that when we get to the top. Just wanted to do a quick update here. Uh, on this little zone where it looks like some people been transitioning, but we're gonna try to get all the way up to the ridge, uh, pretty close to tree line if we can. So the expedition bindings are designed to have a more natural feel for the ride down. They are a pin based binding system, so they take a little bit longer to transition when you get to the top of the zone you're trying to ride, uh, but still pretty quick to use. Basically, you're just gonna clear the snow like you would with any other binding, and then you're gonna actually rotate the bindings onto the pucks. So that helps to pressure the split board together even more to give it a more solid feel. And something they did with the new version was actually put stoppers so that you just rotate it until it locks and then it's in the place it needs to be for the pin to slide through correctly. So uh, that's a nice benefit to make things a little bit quicker up here with the expeditions. Uh, then when you actually get the pin in there, it has a lock now, so that's nice as well. Then all you gotta do is adjust the flad to snowboard mode super quick as well. And that's it. So it just takes a couple minutes, maybe a little bit slower than some of the other systems, but uh, it's gonna have a more natural feel on the way down just because of the materials, the straps, all those other things that Union threw into these bindings. And they're actually still very lightweight as well. So I've had a pretty good experience with them. These are the bindings I'm gonna be running this season. And uh, we're actually at the top of the zone that I was eyeing from the valley down below. Uh, so we're about to get in these trees here and hopefully find some nice snow, uh, but just take a nice conservative line line back down and head back to the truck. So hopefully we get some good shots here.
Got a bit of a hike out back to the truck, so I'm gonna transition back to touring mode, but wanted to highlight one other thing with the newer version of the Union uh, split board bindings, and that is when you are switching to walk mode, they uh, added little grooves under the base of the binding, so it slides into the position that it needs to be in uh, to line up for that pin to slide through the toe piece. So again, just help and save a little bit of time on the transition back to walk mode. Uh, so some minor adjustments, but critical improvements compared to the original model. So uh, hopefully you guys got some value out of this video. Um, honestly, the line that I took up there was about 100 yards uh, skiers right of the line that I was actually looking at from the valley. So there was some pretty steep kind of sketchy isolated terrain features in there. So I was uh, taking a pretty conservative line uh, going around those things did not get as much of a continuous line as I was hoping for but uh, still got some nice snow then we got some good shots with the 360 cam as well and overall can't complain this is not a bad way to spend an afternoon so uh, drop a like if you guys got some value out of the video and if you want to check out the Union Expedition binding in more detail read about it for yourself I'm gonna have that as well as all my snowboard gear linked down in the description below so make sure to go check that out thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys are having a great season subscribe to the channel if you're new here i appreciate all you guys and we'll see you in a new video soon take care guys hey.